now guys look at this we're on our way from the north rim of the Grand Canyon to the south rim as the, the crow flies it's probably what like 20 miles and it's instead it's gonna take us like a total of five hours four and a half five hours so we gotta go all the way around we're heading all the way back east we had to head north and then we have to head south and west very hazy yeah it's a little hazy all right, we're here at the Grand Canyon South Rim. No, we're not. This is, what is this, camp? This is Grand Canyon Camper oh, no. Village. So we're just here one night. We're here to the campsite. Yeah, at the campsite. So, we finally got here, it only took us like five hours. We did have to stop for McDonald's. And then also, I stopped at Home Depot to buy items to fix the Airstream after our off-roading adventure, specifically the uh, door to the, the cabinet door underneath the sink and also the sink P-trap <laughs> fell off and broke. So I had to uh, buy some stuff for that. We're gonna try to fix that when we pull in here. So here's our spot. Here's the campground, not much to it. Just a bunch of, you know, spots here and there. But if you RV long enough, you'll eventually get to experience every type of RV parking spot there is. And this one, here we are. All right, everything looks normal. Picnic, fire pit, RV, and pan, pan, pan. What do we have here? Oh, that is the back of the grocery store. So the grocery store is right there, along with the dumpsters and everything else. So at least it's a short walk if we need to buy anything. So an interesting spot. We're only here for one night. So, the door came off. That's the second time it came off. It came off on Long Island after going over a railroad tracks a little too fast. This time though, the bottom hinge, it's a little bent and so it's just not staying closed. The other thing that happened is not only did everything come flying out of here, but the P-trap came undone off of here. And I tried putting it back, but the problem is the rubber gasket that fits in here, that gets crimped on there. I think it's a little bit misformed and whatnot, so I can't get a tight seal. So that's why I went to Home Depot and just for $1.45 I got a whole new P-trap. I'm gonna throw that on now, see how it works. I also bought new hinges at Home Depot, but the ones they had are not as high quality as the ones that are on the Airstream. So we'll see, I don't know. All right, got my new little P-trap in there and it's no longer leaking, it looks good. Next case. What's up G-Money? Yeah, looking tough. All right, so the next thing to fix from this um, off-roading shortcut debacle is the bathroom light. So we got these two lights in here, right? And they have switches, so you can turn them on and off here. And there's also the main switch here. So I've tried it. Like, it doesn't... It, it's definitely all turned on. It doesn't work. So then I'm like, all right, are the bulbs, you know, good or bad? Or what's going on? And it's not the bulbs. I just removed this switch from the wall and I have a little voltmeter, amp meter, which I tested the connection here and there's no power coming to the switch. So that's the problem. Now the issue is the switch is there. The circuit board is on the other side over here underneath the refrigerator. And there's definitely power to the, to the, um, I said circuit board, I meant um, fuse box. There's definitely power there. So somewhere between there and there, there's no, there's a loose connection or something. So finding it is, might be a pain. So I'm gonna uh, send an email to Airstream, see if they can help me. Maybe they, or call them, maybe they can send me something to help me troubleshoot it. So I talked to Airstream on the phone and they just said they'll email me an electrical schematic. So, you know, for the Airstream. So hey, don't touch that. So the email to me, and here it is, 19 pages. Um, thankfully, I'm quite familiar with blueprints and construction and building, because I've been doing that my whole life. So, so I have to just go poke through this thing and try to figure out where the connections are and where the loose connection might be. Hey, check this out. Ba bam That's right. We got light. So, I found the loose connection from the shortcut. After studying 
those electrical schematics from Airstream, I discovered that the loose connection, or there is, there is a connection that was, again, here's the um, fuse panel, the fuse box, and there's the bathroom. There's a connection in here, underneath here, behind the, uh, underneath the bed. Hey, watch out, guys. Let me show everybody what, let me show. Come on, move. Yeah, so I took these drawers out, and here's all the electrical. And then I found the wire back here that goes to the bathroom light and to the fuse panel. And sure enough, this little thing here was a little bit loose. I tightened that up and lights work again. So, I can't believe I found that. I fixed it, but on super sight because that was an easy fix once you found out where the connection was. So that's done. All right, moving on to the next thing. So this is the little, you know, door that opens up underneath the seat here. This broke. This has been not, not, not so much from off-roading, but I mean, you can see this is how it goes, right? It gets screwed on here and then it just kind of hangs here. And, you know, if you have kids, you know, they push down on this and it's easy for these screws to pop out. So, and these, you know, the, the screws stripped out of these holes and you can't keep screwing into them once they pull out a few times because the threads will just strip the hole. So what I'm going to do here with my helpers, helper one, helper two, is uh, I'm going to drill new holes in this hinge and into here and put the screws into here in a different spot. So I'm going to do that right now with these guys and hopefully this will be back to good, back to working. Ideally, you know what, I wish Airstream, instead of doing this, they did like they have under that cabinet, which is wood, and the and the hatch folds all the way down to the floor, right? The problem with these is when you open this up and it only folds to here, well, now any weight on here that brings it down to the floor is going to break it because it can't open that far. So this should have been done like that, in my opinion. All right, well, that's fixed. Voila. So you can see I just... I actually only had two screws, but I just drilled holes. I drilled, this is the old hole that's stripped. So I just drilled one right next to it on either side. See, this is how it sits. I mean, look at this. Like, this is just begging for someone to put weight on it or a kid to step on it and then it'll rip off. So not, that's not a great design for that, but it is what it is. Next thing up is the pop rivets that came out. now. Anyone that's familiar with Airstreams, you know, there's pop rivets all throughout the Airstream. And I've actually had a few come out already, just regardless of this off-road adventure. And I fixed those, you know, six months ago. Um, it just happens once in a while. But after this off-roading, I found two or three that popped out. Um, so, you know, you'd see like one of these would just would be missing. Um, and there'd just be a little hole there. So to fix it is real simple. I already actually did it. Um, I ordered some rivets from the Airstream website, the correct sizes. So it's just this tiny little rivet. I have a pop rivet gun. And all you do is, if you, you might have to drill out the existing rivet in there. Um, I didn't because they all just kind of fell out. But once that's done, you just take your rivet, throw it in a rivet gun, push it up in the hole, and then you just pump this. And eventually it'll squeeze it and crimp it, and then it'll pop off the little end. And voila, I'm done. So there was, like I said, there was like two or three, I did them already, but there is one more exterior one. So, and this is the first time I've ever seen an exterior one come out. So if we come out here, you can see the exterior ones here. Well, I noticed this one here was missing right there. So I put a piece of tape over it just so no water would get in there. Um, and unfortunately the Airstream supply website, they're out of stock. Of that particular rivet so i looked up and i said oh olympic rivets you got to buy these olympic rivets to replace that so i did and i paid 30 dollars for this one bag here and unfortunately it's blatantly the wrong size it's not even close so i just wasted 30 dollars and i still can't fix that one rivet because i guess i have to wait for the supply to be available again on that website so i'm just going to leave the tape on there for now hopefully get a proper rivet at some point I wish there were some air streamers around here in this RV park. Maybe if someone has an extra rivet, but yeah, 
that's it though. That's it for the rivets. So, yep. The last, well, not the last thing to fix because I still have the fan to try to fix. So the last thing from this debacle of going down this shortcut road is to do this door. It fell off again. I ordered two new bases as, lo as well as hinges. So I'm going to try to install these and uh, hopefully that will be it. And uh, yeah, this is because I was just wrestling with pork chop and Logan and pork chop head butted me in the eye socket. So. What that? We gotta screw that in. Let's help. Let's help me out here, buddy. Can you my own? Yeah, put it in this hole. Put it in here. Hold on. You drive around there. You both can screw it. Okay. Everyone can screw it at once. How many people does it take to screw one a screw here? Hundred. Three apparently. Hundred. Hundred. <laughs> Hundred. Everybody wants to help. Right, Hi, this is Olivia, and I like warm hands. Intention. That's right. That's right. Let me see. All right. Good enough for now. The only thing left is the fan now, hopefully. Daddy! Yeah, buddy. This is it. Our last hurrah for my vacation. It's Sunday. And I have to work tomorrow. We're, yeah, I know. So we're driving to the Grand Canyon one last time. Take another look <laughs> around. Maybe hike a little bit. Then... When we're done with that, we gotta head back, pack up the trailer, and head west to Pirate's Cove, which is by Needles. It's on the Colorado River, right on the border of California and um, Arizona, by Needles, California. And gotta go back to work. Ooh. We got the park quite a bit a ways away. There's hardly any parking available near the trail. Bright Angel Trail, guys. Now, we're not gonna go all the way down. I have to hold my hand the whole time, okay? Because this is a dangerous trail. What they are not doing can die. Don't worry about what they are not doing or doing, okay? Only what we're doing. Okay, come on, buddy. Hey, no horsing around and jumping here. This is a dangerous trail, okay? Get a hike. Nicely. Look, there's a trail all the way over there. You can see it. Not even the bottom either. Look, cause look. See the point over there? Okay, we don't have to go too much further, okay? Because this trail goes on forever. And don't forget, we have to go back up. And up going up is the hard part. Ooh, but look at this. Another tunnel. Up here, guys. Ah, guys. Cool. Ah, guys. Oh, that's the end of the line for us, I think. We don't want to go too far down because we've got to go back up and still got to go to another campsite. So, time to go back up, guys. Long way down, pork chop. You have to go way down there. All right, that was our last hike. That was our last hike of Daddy's vacation. We're all done now. Time to pack up and head back to the real world. We're going back to work. Hey, Logan. Oh, and in case anyone's wondering, what happened here? Uh, we to, hiked. Yeah, you know, we hike well. Your face. We made it through tons of tough hiking trails, all these different national parks, cliffs, boulders, slot canyons, and the kids did fine. Except Logan last night fell down in a parking lot and fell on his face. So the parking lot got him where all the hiking trails couldn't. <laughs>
he's just a little brown noser. Yeah, now he's all face is all mangled. <laughs> like his nose wasn't flattened big enough already. <laughs> all right, signing off for now. <laughs>